Hello YouTube, my name is Jason and this is Lionmer. Today I'm going to teach you how to install the uh, JDK7 thing in the last tutorial, the first tutorial I forgot how to actually uh, tell you to set it up so it actually runs the Java. So today we're going to go over that. First you go to start, go to computers, you need to find your Java file. We can pretty much find it like this, just type in Java. It'll come up. When it comes up, but I'm going to do it the easier way. I'm just going to go to this program files, find my Java file, go to it, go to JDK 1.7. As you can see, I got 1.6 and 1.7. I'm going to go to 1.7, go to bin, double click it. Any of these files right here, just click, double, uh, right click, go to properties, and I need you to copy right here where it says location. Control C, click OK. That's basically where that file is located, and we need that file location. Next, we're going to go to CMD. I need you to, oops, well, just keep that up, we are need that later, go to, right click on computer, go to properties, click advanced system settings, go to environment variables, I need you to click new, type in uh, paste your uh, thing that you took from the location where it's that bin file. Click OK. I'm going to click cancel because I already have it. It's right here. And then click OK. Click OK again. Exit that. Come back to your uh, command prompt menu, and you should be able to run something now. Let's see, Javec. So you should get all this stuff right here. If you get all this, that means it's running correctly. Let's go ahead and check it with an actual file. Let's open our notepad. I'm using Notepad++, it's a really good notepad, and just go to, just type in class, hello world, world, type in Public static void main string arg then start in some curly braces. Then go to system dot out dot print line hello world. You can pretty much put anything you want inside of these this right here, you put anything you want right here, but
this is not what we're actually going over right now. Let's save this, save as. You want to save it as a Java file, so Java source. You want to save it as the class name. Hello world dot java. It's going to be a Java file. So, um, we'll save that. No, I don't want to save it there. Um, I'm going to just save it to the desktop. Save. To find out what the desktop's location is, go to Save As again. Right click on the Hello World.java, go to Properties. Copy this right here, Control C. Cancel, Exit. Close that. Come back here. Control V. Oh. Well, I can't control V that right there. Let's control V right here. And let's just copy this right here. Onto here. So, first you type CD. C double dot backslash users backslash your computer name backslash desktop click enter directory as you can see I have my hello world on my desktop we'll go java c hello world dot java that is case sensitive. Click enter. If it compiles correctly, you won't get an error. If it does, and as you can see, I get a new file right here. This is actually a dot class file. Now all we're going to do is type in Java. Hello. Hello. World. And enter. Now, as you can see, it prints it out right here on the screen. Hello, world. That was all for today. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day. Bye.